Bonjour, in this episode, I show you how to retouch a video using Adobe Camera Raw. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, right now in Brittany on holidays, and I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the video of this episode and all the raw files I've been using over the 130 something episode I've been doing. And click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, in last episode, I showed you how to retouch this portrait. That's the before and that's the after using Lightroom and Lightroom only. This week, I'm gonna show you how you can retouch videos using Adobe Camera Raw. It's a really cool feature that I thought was not possible a few days back and I tried it and it's really powerful. Let me show you how that works. All right, guys, so uh, here's a little tutorial. I was watching a couple of days ago, uh, The Grid. It's a really cool show with Scott Calby, my buddy Scott Calby, and this time it was with Arti Conception about why aren't you using HD video on DSLR? And uh, it really inspired me. Although I use Adobe Premiere a lot, I was really surprised to see how cool uh, Photoshop was for video editing. But also there's something in Photoshop that, uh, that, uh, that you don't have in Adobe Premiere is the ability to retouch um, videos using Adobe Camera Raw. I, over, I thought, you know, I've been using Lightroom sometimes to retouch some of my videos. The only problem is that in Lightroom, you can only have a few things like you, you, you don't have all the power of the, uh, of the raw developer engine. But in Photoshop, you do. And let me show you a little workflow that I found that I find is really cool, uh, actually based on what Scott Kelby was uh, teaching in that episode. First thing is you open the file, you go to scripts, and you go to load files into stack. What that's going to do is uh, load all the videos and put each video in one layer. So I prepared a few videos, I mean, ho holidays in Brittany, uh, France. So this is some videos that I shot on the tripod. I'm just going to press OK. And you see here there is a, something called a timeline. Uh, if that's not visible, usually when you open up a video file, if it's not visible, it's going to become visible. So, uh, which is cool, but if it's not, you just go to Windows and Timeline, and it's going to be usually at the bottom of your screen. I'm using a small laptop in my hotel room, so it's kind of, uh, I would rather do uh, that on a 27-inch uh, Mac, but you will see Photoshop is doing it well. Now, the thing is, the key point is to do your editing before uh, you do the color retouching in Adobe Camera Raw because uh, the first time I gave it a try, I first did the retouching and then I did the uh, the editing. It was like uh, it was it was wrong because the thing is that uh, it becomes very slow uh, to play. So you don't want to play clips which are very slow. First, you want to arrange them how you want. So you see, uh, all our videos is on the right here on layers, and all the videos are on the timeline on the top of each other. That's not what we want. What we want is them to be next to each other so that it's like a movie, not on the top of each other. So to do that, you just select everything and you, and you see this little arrow, you take it and you, and you do new video groups from clips and boom. Uh, this is to make things, uh, to zoom in or zoom out. So let's zoom out a little bit, make everything smaller. And you can see now that all my clips are just next to each other. And if I can, if I press play, I can see them. Now, this is a good time to first arrange the clip how you want because, uh, as I said, once they're color retouched, uh, you won't see much. Okay, let me just uh, rearrange my windows. I think I'm going to go to windows, uh, arrange, float all in the windows because I want to make this a bit higher up so that you can see uh, what's going on. Maybe this a bit lower down. Okay, all right, so now I can press play. And um, you see each clip is here next to each other. All right, now, um, I'm not gonna go much into editing, but the idea is, let's say that uh, I want the flowers to be a bit later on, I can just take my clip and put it here and automatically it's gonna do an insert between the two clips. I find this really handy. You don't have this in Adobe Premiere. You can have it, but it's, it's not as smooth as Photoshop. So I can start by the flower, then I have some shots. It's a lot of still shots from uh, places in Brittany. Uh, now this clip is, I want my clips to be a bit shorter, so if you want to change your clip, you can just drag the end of the clip, for example, this one, and uh, you, you have a little preview of where you're going to stop. Now, on this one, it's only still clips, and like the beginning, it looks really like the end. There's not much to it. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit more. 
uh, while I do the editing. I want to make this clip a little bit shorter too. I know what this clip is, you know. Okay, and uh, all right, and this clip a little bit shorter, and this clip a little bit shorter, for example. And automatically, they, they realign, which is really cool. Uh, you know, this one's a bit too long. And uh, so you can really fine tune your edit. I mean, it's not as powerful as Adobe Premiere, but if you don't want to get into like complex editing, this is really cool. Plus, it has something that Adobe Premiere does not have is all the power of Photoshop retouching. And you will see that in a second. That is pretty amazing. Okay, so now my clips are just in about the way I wanted them. You know, I maybe I started by a flower. I want to maybe finish by a flower. So I'm going to take my second flower clip and put it at the end. All right. Now I want to make transitions between these two clips. Actually, between the, the, the first one, I want to start from black to the first clip. So I can just click here uh, and um, here, take fade and put it here and it's going to fade from black. So if I go to back to the beginning, because there is nothing before that. All right, let's get my reader here. Oh no, it's not the right, it's not, that's not the right. Probably fade with black was the right one. Yeah, that was the right one. All right, fade with black. It's starting with black and coming to my photo. Okay, now I want to make um, cross fades between each clips. Uh, instead of having a cut, you know, in any way in movies, they only use cross fade and cuts. That's the only two things. So from this one to this one, I want to cross fade. So really easy, I actually want to cross fade everywhere. So I just can drag and drop it on each clip like that. And um, pretty straightforward stuff. I really like this. Okay. And uh, now all the clips are in position. Let's say that they are, you know, that they are the way I want them to be, which is not true, but that was just for the... Uh, uh, the hell of it. Now, if you put a crossfade, you can even shorter or make it bigger. Uh, the crossfade, I can still shorten the clips, make this one shorter. Okay, now let's say that my uh, editing is the way I want it. I can preview uh, my video. Now I want to add some music. Okay, well, you can just go here to audio tracks and add audio. And um, All right, so I took this uh, MP3 files called Looking Down. Now, the, uh, the music you need to use if you want to put this video on YouTube, which you should because videos on YouTube is a very powerful way to get your stuff known on there, or the music is a bit too long, so I'm going to make it short. Uh, the size of the video, I can just uh, zoom out and take this and make it align to my clips and zoom back in again. Okay, now I got music. I got music in the air. And... Um, you will see once it's rendered. Okay, now I'm ready uh, to do the key point, which is the retouching. And that's really amazing. Because for example, here you see there's a sensor spot and taking out the sensor spot is not even possible in Adobe Premiere. Or maybe it is now with the latest version, but it was not before. So, uh, okay, that's my first clip. Oh, one thing uh, for the music. Uh, I get all my music from a website called jinglepunks.com. They have awesome music. There's a lot of really cool music, uh, royalty-free uh, website out there. This is the one I use, and they have really uh, some of them are really amazing tracks. Okay, so now uh, that I've got this going, I can select my first clip. You will see it's automatically selected here, and the key point is uh, before to do the Adobe Camera retouching is to turn this into a smart object. So you can see it's selected here. It's selected here. Just right-click. Convert to smart object. Okay, now it's a smart object, and I can go to filter, camera filter. And now, and this is really what amazed me, is I have the power of camera row within a video editor. And that's really crazy because I didn't have that in Lightroom. So I'm going to do my usual workflow, just like if it was a picture, but it's a video. So I'm going to open up the shadows, and I'm going to bring down the highlights. All right? And then I'm going to take the, the old key on my keyboard and set my white point moving to the right until I have a white point set. Okay, oh, that's really brighter. And to the left, my black point. Now, if I find the overall clip is too bright, I can bring down my white a little bit. Yeah, because I want some drama. 
Uh, white balance, I'm not going to touch on this one. Maybe, maybe makes things a little bit more blue. But now here comes the cool stuff. Look at this. I have, uh, I can do ND filters. Now this is something totally new to me. Here, I can do an ND filter. Let me show you, let me put this one at zero. Uh, on this one, what I was trying to do is, well, lower the exposure and just maybe add a little bit of blue just for the sky, all right? Okay, and uh, so that's really cool. And uh, now there is a little spot here. Well, I can take my spot removal and just click on it and boom, no more spot on a video. Here's another spot, boom, taken out. And this is really cool on video. I didn't know that was possible. Okay, take my hand. And uh, now check this out, clarity. Clarity was not possible in Lightroom. I'm gonna add a lot of clarity. Clarity works really well on video. And uh, the last thing I wanna do maybe on this one is I wanna go to uh, the split toning feature and I'm gonna give it a Hollywood look. So for this, I'm gonna take my U in the shadows. I'm gonna have some cool shadows, some cool tilt shadows maybe around here. Okay, and then, uh, so all the shadows, anything which is a bit dark now is very cool. And then I'm gonna take my U's and I'm gonna put it into the, the warm part and add some saturation. So now I've got it mixed up between uh, warm and cool, and then I can balance it out. I probably want to make it a little bit, a bit warmer, and then you can just adjust by lower, lowering the saturation. But I wanted to give it a very stylized look, which is what I did here, but it doesn't stop here. Now, let's say that I wanted to uh, make some hydro filter uh, to make the reflection on the water even stronger. What I could, I could make a big filter here, you know, something like this. I could click uh, in, uh, inside, well, okay, it's already inside, that's perfect. So it's only affecting what's inside. Make this a little bit brighter. Uh, feather is 100, okay. You know, and just add here, a little reflection here on the, in the water. All right, I can duplicate this and add here some reflection, maybe even make it a bit stronger. So, I mean, it's, I'm retouching this just like if it was a photo, you know, this is a bit too strong. And I find this pretty amazing, okay? Now, when, I, when I'm happy with that, uh, because when you make videos, each retouching that you have to do, well, this one is really too strong, so I'm gonna take it back. I'm just gonna reselect it. I'm just gonna make it a bit more subtle, All right? Okay. So now that I've done my retouching, and I, let's say that I like that, you know, uh, I can go here to the preset. You see, I've got lots of presets, and I'm gonna create a new preset, all right? Save settings. Uh, I'm gonna save everything in my preset. Um, everything, 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 except maybe, uh, no, I think I'm gonna check uh, all settings. Let me just see. Okay, I'm gonna save this, and I'm gonna call this Video uh, Hollywood, for example, all right? That's my preset, Video Hollywood. Okay, it's totally at the end. Now, the reason I did this is, uh, let me go back here. The reason I did this, I'm gonna click on okay, and now the video, and only that video has been, uh, has been retouched, right? Now, then the next one then doesn't look at all like the same. So I can just select the next one, and you see it's selected here. I, same thing, I can right click, convert to smart object, and then I can go to filter, camera raw filter. Now, if I don't remember, like, like I spent quite some time on the other clip, if I wanna get the same look, I can just go here now, and uh, go to Video Hollywood, and boom, the look is there. I can fine tune this by taking out the spots, because. I had some spot there. Oh, there is a third one here, which is more visible. And, uh, you know, I can do my red roll filter, just tailor-made for this photo. Maybe uh, make a little reflection here, for example. Okay, this at zero. A little reflection here. Maybe another one here. Not so strong, but you get the idea. And then click on OK. And then you just go on, take the next clip, you know, it's selected here, right click, convert to smart object, and, uh, and you retouch your videos just like you retouch your photo. I think this is really amazing. Now, of course, it only works, oops, uh, is this a smart object? If you wanna make sure it's a smart object, you should get, uh, let me get the next one. And uh, this is actually the next one. 
and I'm going to right click here. Make sure I select it, right click, convert to smart object. And you get the idea. Now, and for, so I, I, I started playing around with it. And, and within a few minutes, uh, I made this video clip, which I'm going to show you uh, now. All right, I think it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, thank you, Scott Kelby, for showing me this. Uh, I think it's going to take my uh, video to the next level. And uh, I will see you in another episode. All right, guys. I hope you found this very helpful. And I will see you in another episode. If you have any suggestions of tutorials, just leave it in the comments below this video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.